Hello everybody, welcome back to Barrel's Garage here. Woo, the sun is shining so it's nice. Hey, I'm out here outside digging around getting some household chores done up. And uh, while I was over here feeding the horse, I thought, hmm, this is a good video. Last night on uh, my live, Nolan over at Wild Rose Garage, he asked a really good question. What do we think of Dayton wheels for trailers? I stuck the little thing up there and asked everybody, what do you think? And everybody kind of had a dumbfounded look. Oh, nobody knows about the Daytons. Here, I'll show you. This is a Dayton wheel. They're really common in trailer house applications. They're made to haul an extreme amount of weight with a very small tire. You see, it's only a 14.5 rim, a uh, 14 and a half inch rim. So the tire on these, you can see here, there's my knee, how small they are, but they're made to haul a lot of weight. There's a huge advantage with these with a car trailer because you can see how low you can get your deck height. Ugh, this is my old trash trailer, but you can see how low that is with the whole axles, everything. So I can put a ramp on there and even if the car is real low, it's easy to get up onto this trailer. Now, these, t these Dayton's, like I said, they're made to haul an extreme amount of weight. You'll see these kind of axles, this kind of a wheel setup on all kinds of heavy, heavy equipment. And in fact, all the low boy trailers I know of made for hauling like bulldozers and cranes and all that stuff, they run Dayton's because that's what these are made for. Lots of weight. But, <laughs> you can see they're not a standard, uh, what you would think of as a wheel. They have these clamps out here on the outside that clamp them to the wheel. And when, <laughs> when I buy these brand new, I always buy them with the wheel. And then I just take these off, throw them away, and stick another one on. Well, I don't throw them away, you know me, but you get what I'm talking about. Now... A lot of people have given these an extremely bad name for being just junk wheels. Well, that comes from using trailer house tires on them. When you buy a trailer house, those the tires that they put on these are made to go one way and then pull them off and that's where the house sits. So they put the absolute cheapest tires on there and they hope they can make it all the way there <laughs> and they're junk they're total junk so if you get these and you plan on using them for your car haulers and that just put it in your mind to change those tires immediately the ones that come on them if it came out from a trailer house are junk and you the Back in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, the housing property market here went up. And a lot of the old trailer parks and stuff and up in the city and the city over uh, south of me, uh, they started buying up all those old trailer parks and scrapping the old trailers. So you had a plethora of these axles. I mean, I remember picking these up for five, ten dollars an axle to build trailers out of. Well, with that many of them out there, you had an abundance of tires to choose from. And everybody wanted to use the cheap stuff because you could go and buy these tires for, you know, next to nothing and just keep throwing them on. Well, they were junk. <laughs> you were lucky if they made it. Never buy takeoff used trailer house tires. Again, they are totally 200% crap. But if you buy the real tires for them, they're, they're very good. And it's an extremely good rim because it can haul so much weight with just a small package. Now that brings me to another one uh, that I got to thinking about. A lot of guys are going to be trailering their rides all the way to Sykeston and back. Well, if you're trailering for a long distance, uh, 
you got to have trailer tires. <laughs> I know a lot of the sizes are the exact same as like a pickup tire and stuff like that. But <laughs> you got to keep in mind that pickup tires, car tires, are designed to go down the road with nice smooth comfort. They're not designed for lots of weight. They're not trailer tires. Trailer tires are made totally different than car tires, vehicle tires. So, if you're planning on trailer in your ride for a lot of miles and you're using just some uh, vehicle tires, plan on a lot of flats because <laughs> they just can't, they can't hold up. A vehicle tire can't hold up on a, on a trailer for long distances. Now, we used to run, uh, well, our uh, monster truck tires used to run on these kind of wheels and we were packing oh lots of weight on that uh, trailer some of the things we did to prepare for that was the number of axles that you have is the number of spares you need to carry why because when one tire goes it throws all the weight of the trailer plus the weight of the trailer everything you've got on it goes to the one tire that's left and usually that's way more than it's rated for and it'll blow it so if you what I'm getting at is if you have one flat usually you'll have two or if you got a three axle if you lose one it'll take the other two so keep that in mind uh, the number of axles you have is the number of spares you need because um, trust me uh, Nine times out of ten, if you lose one, you, you lose them both before you can get it pulled off to the side of the road. Or if you get lucky and it didn't blow the other one, it'll blow the cords in the sidewall. And later on, you know, you put your spare on, and then later on, all of a sudden, boom, you'll get a blowout in the one that was good. And the reason is because it's, it's broke all of the sidewall cords in it, and then it'll bubble, and then it'll blow out. Personally, I love them because they're, they're so small. I can keep my deck height on the trailer low so I can get a low car up onto the trailer real easy with Dayton's. But if a Dayton goes, that whole rim comes off and then it drops that star spindle hub down on the pavement and tears everything up and you got to replace everything. Also, they do have trailer brakes for these. They're their own trailer brakes. You know, nothing else matches them. You have to get Dayton-style brakes for them. But I hope that helps you out there. Uh, and uh, Dayton's a cost a little more. But you get a little more. You just have to make sure. Uh, another helpful hint, too, is while you're trailering your ride all the way to Sykeston, uh, when you pull into a rest stop, you know, and you got to take a pee, stretch your legs, walk around your trailer and reach down. Every time we used to pull into a rest stop, touch the sidewall with the back of your hand, not the front of your hand. Touch the back side of it like this, check for heat. If you're getting hot, something's going on. And then touch your hub cover. If it's hot, shut her down you got wheel bearings going out and it's about ready to spit the hub real simple little easy checks usually a hot sidewall will mean your uh, air pressure is bad in it you're you're a little too low on your air pressure or you know easily corrected stuff and if the heat coming off of it will cue you immediately on a problem before there is a problem Anyway, I hope that helps some people out there, and in the meantime, hope to see you all in Sykeston, and get out there and uh, get some metal hot. We'll see you all at the No Main Nationals. Trailered or driven, we're all going to get there.